Adam Thomas, Osteopath at Osteopath Central Sports and Spinal Rehab video series. Uh, today we're going to get into the shoulder girdle. Uh, step one, foam roller. If you don't have one, got them at the clinic, everyone sells them. Cheap and easy to get. <clears throat> don't have to get them from us, but you have to get one. Uh, we're going to start sideline because our latissimus, the big lat muscle that gives Arnold Schwarzenegger his V shape. Uh, we're going to run on a diagonal, so two feet can help top hand can help but the bottom arm if you can just let it hang out and slide along the floor under the rib cage there and now I've got my tummy switched on it's quite strong there because if I go a floppy you know I might cause myself an injury a rib injury okay so we're solid through there but the arms relax and we gently or not gently we slowly start working the back of that so see how I've turned up to face the ceiling to get the back of that shoulder now it's a bit broad and the broadness means that it's not very tender. If it is tender, hang out there, stick with that one, do it over and over and over again until it's no longer tender. We get a little bit more excited when we get out the lacrosse ball. So this is step two. Step two is about locating the um, lacrosse ball on the shoulder blade or inside the shoulder blade in the meaty part of the muscle. You'll know you're on the meaty part of the muscle because it's tender and it feels like a deep massage release. It doesn't feel like you're having your bones poked. If it's on your bone, it'll be tender, and it's not the tenderness we're after. So these little fellas start on the mat, okay? We wriggle over, we find it where it's at, and that is right in the middle of my infraspinatus. Detail doesn't matter for you guys. Find that muscle, it's a rotator cuff muscle. Oh yeah. All right, I've got some work to do on this one. Tender points will often make your eyebrows raise or your voice change. That's how you know you're on one. And you can hang out there, relax the arm the best you can, or you can wriggle about. It depends on your level of tolerance and your stage of healing. And so once you've released that, it might take a minute or so, move on to the next one. And you keep rolling around that shoulder blade. So now I've shifted so the lacrosse ball is between my shoulder blade and my spine on the same side in the rhomboid inferior fibres of the trapezius region and that's nowhere near as tender. I'm going to come back out with my rotator cuff which just means I shift a little bit and roll up onto that side and yeah that's that's the money shot for me today. Okay. Now the reason I'm talking about my experience here with the lacrosse ball on the DVD instead of just giving you a individualised one, an individual muscle one, is because every time you do it it's different because the human body is amazing and it's capable of shifting tightness and tender points around. Often there's a chronic, latent, deep-seated one, which is why you're in pain and got impingement syndromes and bursitis and calcifications and things like that. This is a huge part of that recovery process, even acute injuries. Your osteopath or osteopath central will talk you through the frequency, the depth, and when to start this. Okay, You go too hard too early with these guys and um, it can actually flare you up but you do it at the right time, to the right frequency, at the right depth, it's absolutely necessary to rocket your progression through your rehab to the next level and uh, get your quality of life back.